Hello everyone, my name is Maxime Chenio. I'm a Katia consultant working for PLM Technology in Norway. And today I'm going to show you a demonstration on Katia Tool Experience Release 19X. And in this video, I will show you how we can use the feature Recognize in Sheet Metal. And to do so, we will start by making a 3D part, make a, a shape that looks like a sheet metal part. We will copy it into a another part to make a dead body and then we will use a, a feature uh, recognize to transform this part into a sheet metal unfold it and make a drawing out of it okay so let's start by creating a part first we can call it making sheet metal part and i want to be sure that i'm in part i am in part design and not in sheet metal I will just make a simple design of a plate. Uh, so take a view from the top view, make a sketch. Let's, let's make a L shape. We can also even add more lines to that uh, sketch. I just want to make sure that I have a measure, a good constraint, just to make it green. Okay, and the last one, of course, is this one. And here you see that I just draw a line and not a profile. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I will use the feature pad with the option thick. I can just select the profile here. Okay, as you can see, it will just ask me a distance, a dimension, let's say 100 here. Great. And as you can see here, you have the option of the thickness. And since it's a, a line, I will just use the feature neutral fiber. Let's put two millimeter as a thickness for a plate. It could be a sheet metal plate, so two millimeter seems actually good. Uh, great, what we need to do uh, more, we can continue making a line. Uh, let's put, for example, something similar to another uh, wall or another bend wall uh, great i will just make a construction line vertical and normal to that element okay here it's already tangent it's purple because i have too much too much dimension i will put a radius 10 millimeter and as you can see here the point of that circle is not connected to that plane so I can move in 3D and just click on coincidence. And here, this points need also to be connected to the line here. Coincidence again. Great. And all again, we put a value just to have a dimension. I exit. I use the thick surface option this time again. Reverse direction, direction, sorry, 150, how it look like. Great, actually. Let's make sure that it's a neutral fiber. And here you can see that's not good. So neutral fiber, two millimeter, correct. Now it's working pretty well. Okay, let's continue a bit in this design to make this sheet metal a bit more complex. We can just add uh, a bunch of hole in it. I'm not going to constrain them very much because it's not really necessary in, in that scenario. But I just want to show you a new feature that is in par design and that's the equal sign. So if we say that this circle is five millimeter, we can now select two circle and say equal. Now they have the same dimension. And we do the same here, same for the rest of the hole. And I don't want to make any constraints in that. I'm just going to make a hole through that. Up to next, great. It looks like there is several holes for potentially some screw later. Uh, let's see, we can also add a bit more advanced shape by making a boss. I'm going to make two holes. And again here, similar dimension. Let's say 20 millimeter and equal sign. So here it's really not important that I put constraint. I just want to make a dead body after. So that's actually great for my scenario. Uh, make up to next. Excellent. And here, what we can do is in this sketch here, maybe we can just make an offset of these two. I can actually put zero millimeter. 
So indeed, we just extracted the contour here. I make a pad. Uh, let's say I want, I don't know, six millimeter preview. I want the other direction, reverse direction, and I want the thick option again. And here, be careful because if you use, as you can see, neutral fiber, it will go uh, in it. So we will change by, uh, here it's normal, it cannot be equal to zero. So let's see, two millimeter, how it look like. Preview, it looks great. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, and let's finish this design by making uh, some chamfer a bit everywhere in my part. Uh, I try to be fast because it's not the most important point of the video here. I want to show you the recognized feature in sheet metal. Oops. This edge here and this edge, 10 millimeter. Yeah, you, can, you want to cut the edges for this kind of sheet metal part. And I finish by making the fillet. And okay, let's put the inner fillet first. One, two, three, uh, let's say two millimeter. And of course, if you want to do the external edges, you need to put two millimeter plus the thickness of the plate that is actually two. So then it will be four. Okay, we have fillet here, fillet here and fillet here, but we are just missing, of course, this fillet here because we want to do a boss feature and I'm going to change the size to make it a bit more nice. Four millimeters seems actually good to me, but maybe I need to change a bit my value of my pad. Let's put eight millimeter. Yes, great. And, and again, we need to finish by the fillet inside here. Uh, six millimeter, four millimeter plus two. Great, so now we have a part uh, that has been made in part design but it's not what i want i want a part in uh, sheet metal so i will just create a new 3d part called dead body sheet metal and i will right click on the part body select copy and go back to my dead part dead body feature and use past special as a result and as you can see, now you have a dead solid inside the part body here. That's actually great. That's exactly what I want. What do we do next? Now we can switch. So th th that could be actually the, the case if you bring a part from uh, GrabCAD, TracePart, all these kind of free library you will see. You have a, a sheet metal, but you cannot really use it since it's dead. We will use the feature recognize in sheet metal here. I'm in sheet metal, you just need to put some uh, value because it needs to understand that it's a plate that is two millimeter thickness. And here the bend radius is four. Actually, we can even change it to 10 millimeter. That's the radius of this one. And what I will do now is I will use the feature recognize here. And you see it's pretty smart because it does it automatically. So you have a lot of uh, element here in this feature that if you want to do a manual recognition, but I, I prefer the automatic recognition. You just need to select a surface. That will be the surface that is flat when we do the unfold. Click on OK. Recognition feature is very small, no problem. And you can just now click on unfold. And you see from a dead uh, body, it managed to make it as a sheet metal part with different orientation of bending. And that's great. So to just prove you that it's working well, I'm going to insert, going to the 3D shape on top, uh, 3D part, sorry, on top, insert a drawing, drawing the body sheet uh, metal. And of course the drawing is inside the part now, so you don't need to search for it. And I will make a front view of my part. Um, this one, for example. Oh, of course here it's a drawing, so I could also continue by making the projection view uh, like that and like that. Then you have three view, okay. But the one that 
is most interesting for me is actually the unfold view. And you have the unfold button here on the small arrow, unfold view. Just go back here and select this part. And now you have an unfolded part with the, the bending lines directly in your model. And that is just excellent. And as you can see, it's different value of, of radius. So it's working well. So yeah, that was it for my video. So I hope you will continue watching us on YouTube. Uh, do not hesitate to uh, contact us if you want uh, help or course, etc. And just please uh, subscribe to, to the channel. Thank you very much. Bye.